So it's St. Patrick's Day, part one. This is going to be a little bit of a rant while I'm waiting for my friend RWR to come out and visit with us. My friend from Ireland, he's in Chicago right now. He's going to hop the train, come out to the Elgin Station, come and spend a little bit of St. Patrick's Day with us. That's going to be a great time. I've got to set up with uh, Chicago deep dish pizza for him when he gets here. Hope he enjoys it and probably all the beer he wants to drink. We have a little local town pub just about a mile away from me. But anyway, my rant was our original plan. I'm having to switch to plan B because our original plan was to go down to the Metro train station, which is just four miles away, and get on board the train. So Tom and I get down there, getting ready to hop it and go downtown Chicago. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, what happens? The train leaves without us. Not because we were late there. We walked over to the handicap car. I like to use the handicap cars because they give you a little more extra time to board and they've got larger washrooms too. So we get over to the handicap car and the door wouldn't open. So I noticed the people that were standing there with us at the time. In fact, one of the older ladies that said hi to me, they were boarding in the car next to us. So I figured, well, we'll just walk over to that car then and we'll just walk through the center and get in the handicap car that way. No big deal. So we walk over there and I'm like maybe just a few seconds behind this uh, nice older lady that had talked to us and the door shut. So I'm banging on the doors, nobody's paying attention, I'm looking up and down the train because usually a conductor, before they pull out of the station, a conductor's supposed to stick his head out the door and check to make sure there's no handicapped or disabled people or anybody that needs a little extra time boarding and leave the station and leave somebody behind. Nobody's looking, nothing. I'm pounding, I'm yelling, nothing. The train just basically leaves without us. So fortunately, since the buses don't run, we would have been stranded, but I was able to get a hold of a family member to come and pick us up or otherwise we'd have just been stranded for two more hours. So we got back home. First thing I do is I jump on the internet and I'm going to file a complaint with Metro about that. That's ridiculous. But anyway, it's still going to work out. We went to Plan B. I was able to text Jer and uh, he was able to get to Union Station where he stands just a couple miles away from Union Station. So he's able to jump aboard a train. So in about another hour we'll run down to the train station that um, left us behind and pick him up there hopefully. Maybe I should text him and tell him, you know, if it doesn't slow down, jump out the window because they might not, you know, let you out. You never know with Metro. But anyway, Plan B seems to be working out. and It might end up turning out better anyway. Instead of visiting at a motel, he'll get to visit here at my house. He'll get to see a little bit of the broken, uh, busted knuckle east and a little bit of the motorcycles and stuff like that. So, might end up Plan B works out for the better. So anyway, that's part one update and I'll give you some more videos as it keeps going. Sorry about the mess up, buddy. You're okay. <laughs> Glad Happy you're St. Ready. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, too. Oh, so we finally get to meet you both. Yep. Wow, I didn't know you didn't he have really any hair. that bad. Yeah, <laughs> that they wouldn't even let him aboard the train. If I'd have traveled by myself, they wouldn't have closed uh, the doors on me. Go get your big flashlight. Okay. Yeah. I think they're lovely flight. But I can't believe the trouble he's having with it. I know. It's not that easy. I'm hoping it's just a problem that they didn't discover at the other dealership, and when we get him over on this one near me, they'll find it. I don't think that's heavy. You want to see if you can maybe get it up on the center stand? Probably need to kick all the... You know what, you know what his problem is? Probably the, uh, the box. You need to be back to the forward for the box. Oh, you can't get a balance. You need to yeah. be a bill. Yeah. What I normally do is you would have a handle here. Yep. So you need a handle here to be able to lift it up. But there's nothing. Yeah, what I used to do with my Honda too is there was a, a railing that would be right about here that I could grab on the Honda. Yeah. And I would grab that railing. So what you normally do is you pop it and pull it back here. Yeah. I grab this side. He was just showing how he he said that because of the boxes. No, handle here, use, no? no, it's this one back here, but use this one. Right. It makes it a lot easier. So. But can he do it though? One second, no, no, I'll have a go, Tom. Huh? I'm, I'm letting you. Don't what do is this? Oh, oh. No, it's fine. No. No, nope, it's too heavy. Right. Right That's again. uh that's your problem. You need to be back here. Yeah, you can't get the you can't get okay, the leverage right, on. That handle again. This one. Yep. Ready. One, two, three. Yep. That's your problem. You're yep. too far forward. Try to pull the thing back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's up forward, Tom, isn't it? Yeah, it 
It's right up here by the radiator. Find your rig. Um, where's all my rags here? Here you go. There's a bunch of rags. Don't worry, this is rags. Yeah. I think I might want the center stand is up here. Is there any option to do that? No. I thought that too, that the center stand, the way it's built kind of is working against your leverage too. It is. Or it should have been a little shorter maybe, but yeah. it can't be, but they can't make it shorter or it won't get the tire off, so. Oh, you know, they, they have to make it long because it was ground clearance anyway, being a dual sport, so. Yeah, but it seems very far back. Yeah. Even if it was in here. Yeah. And you can't do that, no? That's the only multi position. And Tour Tech Tech and Twisted Throttle are the only ones that make a center stand for it. Surprised. I don't think the bike is that heavy though. It way. is until it starts tipping over on me. Once I get past, <laughs> that's the same once I get past so much, it's like that's okay, I'm just gonna get away from it. That's the same on every bike. Yep. <laughs> I have no issues with that. Okay, go ahead, Paul. Uh, it's, uh, it's funny to actually see it in person now. Yeah. Every time I say it. I like your t-shirt too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I had to wear it. <laughs> see, what does he got? got? Oh. He's from Cork. Larry's from Galway. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Larry's from Galway, yeah. I should have that going. I have a presentation for the two league. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, that's a <laughs> one for each. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, what is this? Is, this is actually the place of my ancestors. You know that? That's where my ancestors came from, County Cork. Yeah, so this is really great. Too. So we'd be all the same. Oh my gosh, yeah, we all got the same <laughs> shirt. Oh, I am definitely going to be wearing this with uh, Friday night.